What's going on, Shane here? You may or may not know this, but for a really long time, anything I have been doing, whether it be the old podcast I used to do or any of these videos, they had been being processed on a pretty crappy little laptop. In fact, they were actually being done on this little convertible Asus T100, um, which served me quite well, but powerful it is not. So after literally spending years of my life, most of my life in fact, always buying PCs, budget-minded, uh, and sort of getting by on this'll do sort of mentality, I sort of on a whim bought a much more powerful laptop. I went down to Best Buy and found an open box special with an additional 20% off for some weird deal that they were doing, and I bought this guy. I bought this rather beefy Lenovo Y700, which is obviously quite a bit larger and more powerful than my little Asus uh, Transformer was. So when I bought this thing, I was pretty excited to get it home and try playing some games and so forth on it because it is deemed a gaming laptop. Uh, but I found that its performance was lacking. Basically, games wouldn't run that well, and then they would stutter and drop really low frame rate. Even games that it should logically have been able to play, it really wasn't doing a very good job at. At that point, I did some research, some looking into what was happening, and I noticed that the CPU was throttling down quite regularly from the 3. Point, I want to say 3.6, I may be wrong, 3. Point something gigahertz down to like 1.5 gigahertz. It was doing this quite regularly, and that's why my performance was dropping. So basically, well, I started doing some research online, and I found that other people were experiencing this problem and that they had found a solution to it. On the bottom of the device here, this is the air intake. And on this air intake on the inside, there was a little dust filter. And this dust filter, which obviously is no longer in there, basically made it so that there's no air getting into the bottom of the laptop. When you pull yours out, try doing that. There's no air coming through this thing. It's completely blocking off airflow. So the result is no air goes in, so no air was coming out. The CPU is getting too hot and it's throttling down to protect itself. So basically what I did is popped out these screws from there. You turn the sucker over and you open it up this way. You sort of pry this up because this is kind of bendy. So you pry this up then you flip back over again and pop the rest of it off that way, this way. And then I took a pair of tweezers, because as you can see, there's a little grid in there. And I grabbed a hold of it, and I pulled it straight out. After that, I reversed, reassembled, put the screws back in, loaded up the games I was trying to play before. Just as an example, uh, Skyrim was running on, like, low, and was still having stuttering issues. After doing that, I'm putting the thing on maximum, and it's running perfectly. Um, gang beasts on on the I think the lowest setting was still stuttering on some levels. Now it's on the max settings and it's running at like 60 frames. Performance went through the roof just by removing this dust filter. Now obviously by taking out this dust filter, you are setting yourself up that every so often you're going to need to pop that back off and clean things out a little bit because it is going to be getting more dust inside of it. But the trade-off for a gaming laptop that couldn't play games versus one now that can play them quite admirably, I think that's a pretty fair trade-off. So if you've got a Lenovo Y700, this is the AMD model. I'm not sure if the, uh, I, if the, the Core i5 model had the same issue or not. I would imagine that it wouldn't be helping. But if you've got a Lenovo Y700 and you've been experiencing some pretty piss-poor gaming uh, performance, Try pulling that sucker out. I promise it's not going to hurt. It's going to make things perform quite a bit better in my experience. So if that's been helpful to you, please like, share, subscribe, do all those wonderful things. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.